Hello, this video is what I think about bubble cities in the future. A lot of people have visions that we're going to live in bubble cities in the future. Uh, because, well, they have visions of them. And it also scientifically makes sense because um, we are destroying in the process of destroying the uh, ozone layer and the environment every time we send a satellite up in space. We tear a hole in the ozone layer. The ozone layer is growing at a rapid speed. Uh, we're still using aerosols, which is destroying the ozone layer. We're polluting the air. And um, so it is not at all uh, against logic to imagine that in the future we're all going to have to live in bubble cities to protect our skin. Um, people in New Zealand are growing fungus all over their eyes and they have to go in every six months and get, get it lasered off because they're in no ozone zone um, because it's recently started growing. The Maori never grew fungus on their eyes and now everybody's growing fungus on their eyes so it is a real thing. Um, and so, you know, you would think that we would have cities encased in big glass domes to protect us from the UV radiation. <sighs> and also, um, well, so I will explain of two visions. I've had two dreams of bubble cities, and what I'm thinking is maybe I was visiting worlds or perhaps parallel were earths where people were living in bubble cities and so what I saw in one bubble city was um, we had it was like in a desert area so maybe the environment was actually destroyed too no trees growing but you're living in houses and it was actually, even though it was living in a bubble city and it was safe to believe that it was very, it was in a planet that had gotten f messed up and it wasn't a, uh, um, a uh, natural laser, natural planet. Perhaps it was, it was a, uh, it was, it wasn't, it wasn't a destroyed planet though. Perhaps it was just a, it was Mars. Uh, it was just a vision of the future of Mars, um, and it was just a colony on Mars it was in the process of being terraformed and just wasn't ready to have a, uh, a um, atmosphere yet. Scientists do believe that it would take only about a hundred years for us to terraform Mars to be able to have oxygen there. People have ideas about how to do that. So uh, I do perhaps think, I don't know, maybe that's in our future because there is water on Mars and so we could figure out how to uh, turn that place, that, that planet into actually a habitable planet with an atmosphere again but um so maybe this is a vision of that because there was red earth all around but the vision that i had was and it was a very 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 it was a utopian world it was a very peaceful very very comfortable and pleasant place to visit um because it was so it was so uh open um society um it was very it was different houses and, and but only the houses were open. The houses did not have roofs on them because the roof was the bubble. So it was kind of like anybody could have walked into anybody else's house pretty much because there was no roof on the house. Yet everybody had houses and stairs with multiple levels on the houses. Um, and and you know there was a door from the main hallway, the main street. People would walk down up and down, and I didn't see cars. But um, you open up a, um, you, you know, you go in your, your gate. It was basically a gate you open, go in the house. And, uh, you know, so the upstairs would be kind of like a deck, outdoor deck, and that's where your bed. And there were rooms that were private, obviously, where you sleep and stuff. But, you know, there were, like, the living room and stuff was kind of open. And, and so then right next to it was, uh, was the next guy's house. And it wasn't very, uh, there weren't very big houses at all. And um, it was very, very clean. It wasn't collecting a whole lot of dust, you know. 
because I guess because of the little bubble. But that was a nice place. And then I had another vision, a dream, of uh, a society that was living actually underground. Um, and it, but it was also another kind of utopia. <sighs> yeah, yeah, it is a utopian, but it was kind of definitely a peaceful society. Um, and it was kind. Of, it reminded me of a strip mall, indoor strip mall. Only people lived in it. Instead of lining the sides of the strip mall having stores, you actually had people's houses uh, that were like apartments in in walls, and it was lit up. And it was like a wide street that you walked down, no cars, just walking. And it was also in the middle of the street there. You had, uh, I think, stores and stuff, and even on the side. And there were lots of people. It was kind of more bustly and more packed with people than the uh, other house uh, neighborhood I just explained, which was more peaceful. It was kind of like a neighborhood, and this was kind of like center. But anyway, um, I think I'm not the only one um, having Bubble City dreams and visions. And so I think we are visioning ourselves in the future on a perhaps a colonized planet or uh, a parallel Earth on a planet where they actually had to do that. Um, uh, and maybe even on this Earth we will have bubble cities because there are advantages. You can control the temperature. You can um, well protect from the sunshine, sunlight. It keeps it clean. Um, but, um, so I don't know. I wouldn't like to live in one of those, but... That's what I think about bubble cities. I'm, uh, I'm throwing my two cents in.